I'm going to show you how to uh, use graphical applications on the Raspberry Pi, but locally without having to actually have a keyboard and display on the Raspberry Pi. So from my laptop computer here, I can just go into a um, terminal window and I can just do a standard secure shell command. If I need to put a uh, option minus uppercase X, which says I'm going to use the X window system on my Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to actually open the applications on my local laptop. So it's a bit of a weird concept, uh, but if I put in the address, uh, oh, actually I've got to put the Pi username, uh, the address of the of my Raspberry, Raspberry Pi, I log in as normal using Secure Shell, and logged into the Raspberry Pi, uh, and then what I can do is I can open up a, uh, a file manager, um, which is called PCManFM. I'm typing the command in the secure shell, but when I hit return, what it does is it communicates back to my laptop, and this has opened up a file manager, which is on the Raspberry Pi. You can visually see it on my local machine. It makes it a lot easier to, to do remote application development uh, or things like that. Uh, and I can prove it's not the file manager of my Ubuntu system because they look completely different. So this is my Ubuntu system file manager and here's my Raspberry Pi file manager. Um, uh, the, other, the other really good thing about this is, uh, so I'm in the file manager and what I can do is I can go to desktop, I can go into one of my projects and if I double click on this source code it asks me if I want to execute it or open it. So I'll click on open because I want to edit this file. And it opens up a text editor. But again, this isn't on my local machine. This is actually running on the Raspberry Pi. I'm just getting the graphics coming back to my local machine. So anything I do in here, if I edit the file and I save it, it doesn't save it locally. It saves it on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and so, so that's, that's everything you really need to do to, to develop on the Raspberry Pi. Um, if, if I go go back to the terminal, and if I was to edit that file and go to my desktop, uh, and where I edit the file, although I haven't actually edited the file, I could then just run run it in the command window, which is the secure shell window. Uh, so that that provides you with a very easy way of developing code, and also uh, you can run normal uh, X any X windows application on there so you can run a clock or or like um, edit um, word processors and things like that